Well, 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 look who decided to show up a little early today. It's uh, Arcade 1-Up's Fast and the Furious game here. Uh, ordered this bad boy from Best Buy. I was supposed to be here on Monday, but lo and behold, I got the notification that it came today. Uh, it took me about an hour, hour and a half to put this thing together. Didn't really run into any complications. As you can see, it's a beautiful looking cab, very colorful and vibrant. Um, as far as like any issues putting together, one thing I did notice that I was not a fan of is down here, where the pedal is at, you can see the cord connector that runs to the back where the PCB and all that other stuff is at, cannot be tucked underneath like you would see in the OutRun or the Ridge Racer cabinet. Uh, basically because the riser was there and was able to kind of go underneath that and inside the cabinet, whereas in this case, the baseboard is under there and you're unable to get underneath that baseboard to get inside the guts of the cabinet. So unfortunately, that white little cord there, unless you can tuck it to the sides of the uh, opening there, are gonna be, is going to be sticking out. So I was not really too happy with that. Uh, overall, everything else looks to be okay. I just managed to pull off that fiberglass uh, panel uh, thing that's on top of it just to kind of show the colors a little bit more. Uh, let's turn this bad boy on and see uh, this uh, game in action. I did manage to play a few games prior to this video being recorded, and from what I can tell, the DNA of the uh, Fast and the Furious cabinet from the arcade versions back in whatever 2004 nothing of that game is in here it, it gets to the point where you do play the fast and the furious games you're basically uh dealing with the uh the asian lady that uh, does the checkered flag as opposed to the one lady with the uh the white shorts that you would see in the game so none of the background crowd is in the game at, at all this my friends is basically drift as expected split into two games is it fun yeah it's not too bad so far most of your uh menu options and screens are going to be going through these buttons right here. You've got your live button from online, you got your music to change your music, and those three buttons are not only camera views for your cars, but they're kind of used to navigate through a lot of the screens and menus. It gets a little bit difficult, so you probably may have a little bit of problems at first trying to figure that out. There's your start button and whatnot in the gear shift, along with your volume and your um, on-off button. The volume on this thing, it is loud. So you've got some good bass when you're playing this. Marquis not too shabby. I'm sure it could be a lot better, but it is for what it is. Let me lower this down so you can kind of hear the gameplay a little bit better. And then uh, let's get into the game. So you'll be using the first player, or the one button here, to navigate between the two games, the Drift and the Fast and the Furious. So we'll do one of these and just kind of give you a quick gameplay of both games here. and see uh what we got going on now well, bear with me i'm going to be running the phone at the same time i'm going to be playing the game so anything other than fifth place is not going to be acceptable let's see how we got so again here are your fast and the furious race tracks you got the five six on the left and then the six on the right with those middle tracks being blocked off which is basically the fast and the furious drift at least that's the way they're going to sell it. San so I guess San Francisco is who we're picking mission. here. Pick and there are your cars. The same eight that are going to be on both sets of games. So, we'll go to the Pontiac. Your and there's your customize. I always try the engine. engine. Alright, let's get this bad boy a shot here. And as usual, when you're racing, no brakes involved. Precise. Sometimes when you uh, go completely off the, uh, the screen, the game will glitch and put you back on the track. This game's not too bad. Uh, it's got some shortcuts. As you can tell, nobody's driving the vehicle. So that's a kind of a what the hell moment going on here. any of the rumbling on the uh, steering wheel yet. The pedals, by the way, are pretty much the same ones as Ridge Racer and uh, Outland here. So.
From what I can tell, I mean, it's a fun game. Is it worth the price? It's debatable. You'd have to be a fan of the, the game back in the arcade to really enjoy this, but really, it's kind of a bummer. As have spoken before about trying to sell this as two games, when in reality, it's just one. But maybe the game becomes a lot better when you're uh, linking the cabinets. Somebody decides to buy two or three or four of these machines and link them together. But I just can't see the value in that unless you plan on having lots of friends over. Or you've got kids that are teenagers that would spend their time playing these games when in all reality most of them would be on Playstations or Xbox instead play more modernized games with better graphics. I mean, I think this game does will do well for what it's worth, but I mean, we're all waiting for Daytona, Cruising, Sega Rally, some of the other games. Not bad. Edge it out third place with one hand, no breaks. So that is the uh, Fast and the Furious. Ooh, hot time. Now, as far as like keeping track, I'm not sure uh, because I haven't played enough games if this basically keeps track of your high scores or whatnot. But um, for the most part, I think when the game is on, it stays on. It keeps track of your scores. When you power down, I cannot confirm or deny whether it continues or not. Unless I end up playing the same game, but for the uh, benefit of this quick review here. Oh, it does keep score. All right, sweet. It does keep score. Well, that's good to know that uh, your scores, your local scores are going to be intact. Now, if you want to go back to the main menu here, you're going to click, I think it's the live button. We're going to get this menu right here. And then these three buttons match up to that. So if you want to leave the game, we're going to hit the second button, which coincides there. Then you're going to hit the green button, start button, and it'll take you back to the home screen. Now, if you want to try drift, again, hit the second button. So just deal with these two buttons with that. Otherwise, if you want to get into the online or to the settings, then you're going to have to hit the steering wheel and kind of move it to left and the right. So let's give it a shot here and see what we got going on for uh, drift. There it is. Same tracks uh, for drift here that are basically the same ones as the other one, except they split them, like we said. It would be nice down the line if maybe with uh, some downloadable content, if we can get some more of those cars. I mean, at least give us two more would be nice. Yeah, and there's the same ladies I told you before. I mean, the good thing about this, I, I, I do enjoy the tracks. They all feel different. They're all, um, you know, different settings, weather, tracks, greenery, you know. So it's not too shabby. I mean, you are getting 18 or 19 tracks as opposed to the few that you get on a Ridge Racer. Um, I'll tell you what, man, if, they, uh, if they're able to do the buy stuff mod on this, they had a lot of the games that uh, were on the, um, the outrun of the Ridge Racer, this could be the one to own. Driving like Chevy Chase here, National Life Wins Vacation, the rate I'm going. Turn the music up a little bit. There we go. Nothing says the Far East like heavy metal, right? One thing I'm not really a big fan of these uh, stand-up racers is being older or fatter, you're uh, going to have some issues with the hips, trying to put too much weight on one end over the other. And uh, you start to really feel the burn in your uh, your hips playing too long. But it could be because of the way I'm holding the phone, too. I mean, I think overall I really like the game so far. I mean, compared to some of the other games that are out there, it is what it is. 
I think that shortcut completely missed it. Still, I've uh, been playing a couple of games here, really not feeling the rumble on the, uh, on the steering wheel. I'm not 100% sure if it's supposed to come with it or not. There you go, that was a quick race. Well, that about sums up the initial reaction to the Fast and Furious by Arcade One. Up. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. Please like, subscribe, and uh, hopefully down the road I'll post some more video reviews of any of the new arcade one-ups that are coming out. Peace out, everybody.